Good day. The party of this residence is unavailable to accept your call at present. They request that you leave a detailed correspondence involving the nature of your business. They will consider your request and a response will be afforded at their earliest convenience. Thank you for your kind consideration. Good day. Uh, yes, my name is Michael. You left some type of a bizarre message on my telephone, and I was returning your phone call. My number is 808. Uh, your message may have been in reference to an automobile I may have to sell on Craigslist, or my can of CPS in it. Uh, please return my call. Thank you. Aloha. This person had the wrong number. Hey, Patty. This is Pam. Uh, I want to know what the hell is going on. First of all, why would you believe anything that Michael said? Second of all, what, what's going on with Donna? I mean, why would you even say anything to Donna? Something that Michael said. It's this is absolutely preposterous. I don't know what the fuck is going on. So give me a call at home, 619. It's like 3 o'clock. And uh, I'll be leaving here about 3.30. Okay, bye. Hey, what's your name? Hey, sir. Sir, what's your name? Hi, my name is Dennis. I live in Missouri. And it's Saturday night at about 10.30. I think I received a, a crank call from kids or something. N not real sure, but... uh. Maybe you could look it in, into it. No need to call back. Thank you very much. Bye. This is about the email. You need to resend that email again. And I need to know if the baby's doing all right and what he got run over. Thank you. And I hope you are up early this morning. Well, listen here, you little fuck nut. You better quit calling my phone with this bullshit. That is all. And you look pretty today. I will beat your dick off with both hands. Hi, this is um, Client Relations. I was actually calling. Um, I, we got a voicemail, and uh, it was just a little bit unclear, so uh, we were just calling you back to see if we could help you out. Um, but uh, no worries. We'll, uh, uh, if you have any questions, just give us a ring back again, and uh, we'll be more than happy to talk with you. All right. Bye-bye. This person had the wrong number. You too. Hi, this is Angela. If you would, really, could you give me a call? I was saying if you could come at four. All right, call me you get this. Bye. Um, I'm calling you back. You called us about the RV, but I couldn't understand what you were asking us. So we're at 619. Thank you. Bye-bye. Hello, Miss Stephanie Gladstone. This is Erica. With you. I was actually giving you a call. You said on behalf of one of your clients that got called 15 times, um, and I, I deeply apologize about that. We actually have an automated dollar system, and it does not. It's not supposed to. We only can dial it one time. I believe it's every three or four hours, and we only operate for not even five to six hours a day. Um, and you said something about a giveaway. Um, he might have filled out a form um, and signed and date the form for us to give him a call about a maybe a gift card that he filled out at Home Depot or a four-wheeler at one of our malls. If you don't mind, just give me a call back anytime, 316. Thank you. Good morning. I'm Pastor Kurt, and I'm calling from Billboards. I'm returning a call to a Phyllis who called from this number. Yesterday afternoon, I would be glad to have a conversation with Phyllis. The telephone number to dial back in and speak with me is 833, extension 208. Again, my name is Pastor Kurt. I'm calling from Wards, and the phone number is 833, extension 208. Thank you, and God bless you today. End of messages.